you, you mentioned you have trees and tree houses. Those are pretty special resources to have. Are there other sort of uh, other things that are particularly like unique resources that you, you offer? I think the craft, the craft space, the craft room would, would be quite unique in the sense that all of the tools are accessible to the kids, right from drills to saws to nails to scissors to knives to hot glue guns to candle, candle wax to pottery wheels. You're making it sound very dangerous at the moment. <laughs> and it's all, like, I mean, they, it's obviously not a free for all, but, but, you know, the kids are all given access to that under supervision yeah. and are taught how to use those those individual tools appropriately so that you know we're ensuring their safety and and again it's a bit like the tree house that you know as children grow and develop in their level of understanding and maturity that you know their experience with how to use the various different things appropriately is you know they're given more license mm -hmm. and opportunity for that nice so in terms of other resources i mean we do have a huge resource with our art craft teacher as well so most years we would have a huge project that the whole school get to work on so for example this year um, we had what what was called film week and the children did all parts of that so every year there's some sort of creative project that happens a couple of years ago we did build week and that's where we came up with a lot of the cubby houses and tree houses mm. this year was film week and we are just about to roll out our our premiere of our film in a couple of weeks that was completely done and acted out by the children. Scripts were written. We had parents come in and help and volunteer with that and guide. And it was a huge big community project. So I think that's a really amazing resource that we draw from at Karamina um, that, that sets us aside from many because it, that, that seems to be a memory from, for many children in years to come mm -hmm. and in and from past classes, they often talk about those big, big community projects that they've participated in and the learning that comes out of that. So no. that, I guess as well as that, it's probably not a resource that you're thinking about, but the, the kinds of teachers that we have, the kinds of teachers that we draw from are ones that are passionate about finding something that works not necessarily in the mainstream. So we have a, a, a really great group of teachers, support teachers, relief teachers, extracurricular teachers, everyone that's here are really, really passionate about making sure that these children get what they need in terms of our philosophy. So that's a really important thing to put in there too. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.